This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Sailrite proudly introduces the Snaprite Surface Mount Stud Die. With this special die, now you can easily set a snap stud into a hard surface using a standard riveting tool. Typically, snap studs are installed to hard surfaces using standard Phillips screws or machine screws. Using the new Snaprite surface mount stud die, you can do it with a pop rivet. A snap stud can be installed with a regular nose piece that comes with a riveting tool. However, there are some notable disadvantages. One is, they easily fall off the tool. The second major disadvantage is that the standard nose piece on a riveting tool does not fit nicely into the socket of the snap stud. Thus you never get a snap stud that is actually installed securely to a hard surface. It wiggles around after it's been installed. That's not good. Because the snap is not firmly against the surface, it'll actually get worse over time. All of these issues have been resolved with the Snaprite surface mount stud die. Let's remove this poorly installed stud using a pair of pliers and a drill bit to drill off the head of the rivet. Let's now show you how easy it is to install this snap appropriately using the Snaprite surface mount stud die in only four easy steps. Step 1. Replace the nose piece on your riveting tool with the new Snaprite surface mount stud die. It simply screws into place. Step 2. Insert a blind pop rivet into the die. Step 3. Press stud into place inside die. There's a rubber o-ring that helps to prevent the stud from falling out, so you can turn the tool any direction and shake it, and that stud will stay in place. And Step 4. Rivet stud to surface using pre-drilled 1 8 inch hole and press the lever on your riveting tool. Each time you depress the lever until the mandrel breaks, you want to be sure that the die is resting flat on the surface that you're mounting the snap to. Now as we grab the snap stud, you'll notice that it is firmly set in place. It is very solid. This steel frame structure stores some of Sailrite's foam. We're going to cover it with fabric using snaps. We'll need to pre-drill a hole using an eighth inch drill bit, which is just slightly larger than the rivet. Always test the size of the hole by sliding the rivet through the hole to be sure that it easily fits. Now with the Snaprite surface mount stud die already installed in this riveting tool, we're ready to install this snap. Simply insert the blind pop rivet and then press the stud into place inside the die. Sailrite typically recommends aluminum rivets which are readily available. However, stainless steel rivets can be used as well. They're more difficult to find, but Sailrite carries them. For this application, we use the stainless steel rivet. When installing a snap with a rivet, it's important to be sure that the rivet length is longer than the thickness of the material that you'll be installing it in. We're using a bent paper clip in this fiberglass boat hull to determine the thickness of the fiberglass, and we used a Sharpie uh, marker here to indicate the thickness. Now we can use that to determine if the rivet is long enough. Position the snap stud over the rivet, then use your paper clip to determine if the rivet is long enough. We'll now be using this new die to install a snap with a rivet in sheet metal. This is a ventilation fan that's surrounded with a sheet metal box. We're going to pre-drill our eighth inch hole and then we're going to use the snap right surface mount stud die to secure the snap stud. If you've ever tried to install a snap stud using a self-tapping screw into sheet metal, you know it's almost impossible and doesn't hold well. Using a snap with a rivet works perfectly. Now you can quickly and easily install a snap in tubing. This is a 1 inch stainless steel tubing and we're pre-drilling our 8 inch hole. Insert the blind pop rivet into the die, press the stud into place inside the die, and now you're ready to press that snap stud into place. We're using the stainless steel rivet here, which is a little bit harder to press, and it's available from Sailrite. Once the mandrel snaps off, being sure that you keep the die against flat against the surface, that snap is installed very securely in place. Here we're installing the snap in some galvanized tubing. 
anywhere where you can use a standard rivet in a solid surface, you can use the Snaprite surface mount stud die exclusively sold from Zaorite. Not only can you use the Snaprite surface mount stud die with standard snaps, you can also use it with the pull the dot one way snap. The pull the dot snap fastener is a special locking snap that will only open on one side of the snap. The other three sides of the snap are locked. The pull the dot one way snap is designed a little bit differently than a standard snap, but it still works great in this die. This die is made in the USA. Order the Snaprite surface mount stud die at www.sayarite.com. It's your loyal patronage to Sayarite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.